Oh yeah, small jewel thief coil there that I've made. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm, uh, I'm pulsing it with my uh, frequency generator and I'm uh, looking at the waveform. Uh, just turn the intensity down a bit. And what I'm seeing is uh, if I put a square wave through it, uh, we're getting a nice little resonance. Now, the way that I'm pulsing this is the, uh, I've got the uh, oscilloscope on the one coil and then I've got the uh, frequency generator on the, uh, the second coil. So uh, we're actually looking at the uh, the coupling here. Now, uh, what I was thinking was if I change the frequency now on the frequency generator, so you can see where it's going into resonance there. Now, if I bring it down, I think that uh, just after it finishes that resonance, which is about there, uh, we're looking at. 207 kilohertz so that could be a good uh, place to try to make it even more efficient and something else I found as well is uh, if we put this in the megahertz range you'll be able to see that uh, we're starting to get a more complex frequency there but uh, as it gets up to about 150 or 1 1.5 megahertz, I think it is, we get the uh, the tallest peak on it. If we just stop the time base the one way and adjust it until we get the highest one, uh, we're on about 1.476 there. So that's uh, another one to try. Now, apart from that, the, uh, if I just hook this up now to my other coil, uh, I've desoldered all the bits off it, so we're just interested in the coil here. Uh, if I can hook that up there, right, I'll take it off the horizontal and turn the intensity up. What I've noticed is if we go down to about two hundred, it's uh, it's definitely peaking out at that two hundred. If I can just make it a bit smaller and yeah. So I've got it at 190 there. If we put this up to about 200, I think that's where the uh, the highest wire found was. So let's have a look. So that's the highest one there. So if I put that back on again, and it's actually at uh, 194. Now well, what I'm going to do is a uh, uh, I've got uh, a circuit that I've made here, pulse width modulator, and uh, I've got two outputs. Uh, I've got one outputting on the uh, the top half, and one outputting on the bottom half with some leads coming out. And uh, I'm going to use this as the uh, supply voltage to go back into this coil. Now we found this out, so I'm going to solder it all back up again. So I'm going to get on with that. Uh, thanks for watching.